Oh. Oh my god, it's him! What? Some, no, Man. something's gonna happen, bro. Oh, See? So this no. isn't Mobius that he knows. Welcome back to Strictly Casual. We made it to the season finale, and we want to thank you guys so much for watching along with us for this series. It has been such an incredible time, and I know I can say for us, we've had such a blast reacting to all the big reveals and uh, talking about all the Easter eggs with you guys. So thank you very much. Another big thank you guys. Seriously, it means a lot that you guys stay consistent and watch each week uh, for real. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out a lot. We just hit 700 and we are pushing to a thousand. Every single sub helps for real. Thank you guys. I'm so excited to finish up this show. It's going to be fantastic. If you guys catch any Easter eggs, any little hints of what might happen in the future of the MCU, will we see the multiverse break? Will we see the big bad? Are we going to see several big baddies? We shall find out right now. Before we get started, though, I want to ask you guys one last time. Who do you think will be the big bad revealed? People have been saying Kang, Classic Loki, or King Loki. Who wants to go first? What do you think? I'll, I'll go first. I will say then and now. Someone threw that out there then and now. And I was like, that's interesting. It's kind of like a spin of these two people or these two spirits or whatever you want to say that are kind of living in this chamber. Some people even said Dr. Doom. I was like, some people are really crazy with their theories. But... <laughs> um, I honestly, I, I don't want it to be like a Loki variant. I think, I don't know, I'd be like, eh, I guess. But if it's Kang, if it is Kang and they're like starting to introduce Kang, I hope Kang isn't like defeated here. He seems like he's like gonna be a huge villain. Mm -hmm. So maybe if he's in charge of this, maybe Loki and Sylvia kind of escape. But I, I don't think, I would love Kang to be introduced though. That'd be cool. Oh, I'm putting all my cards on Kang the Conqueror. I just want to say that because, you know, I don't, I know it might be another Mephisto. It might be another Loki, but I'm just going to mm. go all in for this one because if it is, sure. I'm going to be satisfied. And if it's not, let's go. I won't be as disappointed, but it's all good. So here we go. Right. <laughs> let's do it. I'm all changing. Right. I'm changing mine too. I'm going Kang. Okay. Wow. You're <laughs> okay. crazy. Stick it with the OGs. Yeah. Stick it with the OGs. <laughs> all right. Let's do it. People are all like over the place with these theories. I, I love <laughs> yeah. it. Oh my God. It's, it's the song from Endgame. I love these little voices in my ears. I'm telling you, the multiverse Lord. is gonna break. I don't think we know what we're in for, guys. Whoa, I'm already getting whoa, chills. Whoa. I'm already getting chills. Neil Armstrong, it's all a space? Greta Thunberg? That's the whole timeline. It's a circle. Time is a loop. Holy crap, guys. Around this place? Yeah, but who's inside? That's what we care about. <laughs> what oh an intro. God, Whoa, yeah. what the heck? That was that was a good intro. That was a good intro, I won't lie. Oh. They're trying to make you think about the whole MCU, and you're right, man. The multiverse breaking, like... <laughs> oh my god it's so twilight zoney mm -hmm. all right she's been waiting for this moment her whole life you know they have clocks in their heads like miss minutes oh my god is that oh. what that was miss oh. it was, yeah Ooh. they do have clocks in their heads he who remains he who remains it's him okay it might just be an old guy he wants the catalyst event to go off <laughs> right remember before it was stopped by the tba i feel like it has to be natural you know like yeah, them true. two together but Maybe. if anything he who remains is just an old guy it's just an old man you know what i mean you think so oh my god wait those timekeepers this is a, there's a fourth statue there's a fourth person oh Worse. he was an outcast are three of the statues broken is that what that is or just one of them no, broken? just one of them yeah. oh my god oh my god oh yeah here we go here we go here we go another elevator Oh. Oh my god, it's him! It's Kang! Yes! <gasps> it's Majors! Whoa! It's finally happening. Oh my god, it's Jonathan <laughs> Majors! Oh my this god. is wild! I mean, oh my god. Wow! Oh my god. He who remains nice. is Kang. Dude, I'm in. I'm in. I love him. Dude. Ooh. What? Dude. Yep. He controls time, man. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> no, he's so chill. I love it. He's going to go full evil in a second. Like, we're going to see it. Mm -hmm. Of course. You got some explaining to do, buddy, pal. <laughs> right. Here he is. <gasps> oh, yes. He made it back. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's out of, she's out of jail. Okay, nice. So, yeah. They went back to where she was from, I guess. Wait, Ohio? Ohio 2018. This is the Roosevelt Hotel. This is where the pin's from. See, I was going to say it's her time. <gasps> That's huge. They know that they're all variants now. Well, duh, of course you did. Okay. Wow. Whoa, it's all whoa. written out. The future. Whoa. You know what? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think King's going to win and Loki and Sylvia are going to get trapped or something like that. Good theory. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, Kang is the big bad, brother. Mm -hmm. This might not end happy. True. Yeah. yeah. This, this is the prologue to the whole movie, right? No, oh, he looks a little scruffy. <laughs> right. Cool <laughs> Lokis. What the heck? 
Honestly, I don't care for her pity party. Nobody does. But she is like in love with the idea of Kang, so kind of makes sense. It fits. <laughs> oh, what? She's already she's already got access. Yeah. Yep, she knows. I'd be more curious to know why Kang chose her as mm -hmm. the judge. Oh, what? Come on, dude. No. Oh, that was weak. That was weak. SMH. Boba. Ooh. Whoa. That's it. So We're not seeing her again. Yeah. She's searching for him. <laughs> Conquer. Conquer. Yeah, I saw that coming. Nice. Oh, wow. Look at that. He's a scientist. Whoa, there's the bombs, the time bomb. Oh, there he is. He's like Kang there. He looks like him. Oh. Yeah, he does. They do look like yeah. Kang, right? The outfit. Huh? But it was really just him. It was him trying to kill other versions of himself. Trying to get power. Now I just have to manage the flow of time. Yeah. You're welcome. And look, suddenly he's just done with his performance yeah. like a crazy mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's not so bad, but the ones yeah. that we'll see like in Quantumania might be True. worse. True. True. Mm. I think this is lies, though. I don't I, like. I don't know what to believe. You know. It's a little sussy yeah, no kidding. I, I, who knows everything, with this guy? Everything is up in the air. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's gonna make him fight to the death for the power. Someone's here. Someone found them. No, something. What's going on? Of oh, the multiverse, maybe. Now they're maybe. active. Maybe, maybe he's. He seems happy about this. This is it? It's different now? So now the Kangs are what? coming. The Kangs are coming. This is something crazy now. Yeah, it's all different. <gasps> Whoa! The oh, whole wow. multiverse is breaking. But why though? What happened? Right, right. Oh, there's something gonna happen, you know, he's dog. So, he's so weird. Like, I love it. Yeah, he is such a strange character, he's very right? strange. Yeah, thank you. That's the word. He's like excited. Like, yes, yeah. play my game. Play mm -hmm. my game. Mm. Yeah, it's about the universe. What the heck? That means Whoa. he's gonna convince her. He's gonna convince her. He won't. Oh wow! This that was sits. a great line. Mm -hmm. You can't trust, and I can't be trusted. Mm -hmm. oh. oh. Oh no. This. Oh my god. That was, that was so sick. That was right. It was like sleek. Like Kang's gonna stab him in the back. I just don't know. He's got his back turned to Kang. What are you doing? Oh man. Oh, what? Some, no, Man. something's gonna happen, bro. That's probably what you're. It probably breaks the multiverse doing that. This is the same person kissing himself. Oh my itself. gosh. I can hear people screaming now. I'm so mad at this. <laughs> oh no. She's still gonna kill him. Oh. No. She's killing him. Oh my god. What has wow. she done? And look at him in the back. He's so conniving. Oh. oh Quick and easy. She just went oh, for it. Oh no. See you oh soon, he says. Oh my god. Wow. Dude, she just unleashed Kang. <laughs> Freaking it. He was this the dude one dude said, see everything. you soon, bro. He said, see you soon. He was like the last version of him that was actually good. Good, he, and yeah, it, yeah. It, it, Even in the slightest way, he was just the guy preserving the timeline. Yeah. That's Whoa. tight. Look at that war. Look at that war that's already taking place. <laughs> Multiverse of madness, dude. That looks so sick. Wow, the timelines. Jeez! Oh my god, they all best friend! Oh my god! Watch, this is the setup for season two. Oh. Right, right, right. Trying to prove everything. Wait a sec. These are not. These are variants. Oh, See? So this no. isn't Mobius that he knows. No, no, no he it's knows. not. There's millions I knew of different it. versions of people. I probably. knew it. I knew exactly when no, he no, said. No. There's an infinite what? number of people. Look, look, look! Oh my god, the timeline is really different! Oh no, Kang! He's oh, already taken no. over! They're gone? He already, he, right, he already took over! Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> what? Oh, what a cliffhanger, man! Dude! Wow. Is that set up for season two, though? Like, what is that? Come on! Oh! Let's go! Wow. Oh my god! Oh yes! I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I hate to be that guy, but I don't what? like that. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Initial. Let me... That to me tells me that Kang is not going to be a a, a main bad guy in the MCU. But you I don't truly, think... I truly Ant think, mm -hmm. yeah. Because Ant-Man no, and the Wasp Quantumania comes out in like three years from now. You don't think that Loki 2 
will come out and then another filler and then more movies to set up because like we have a long time until we see Kang again. Right. A I mean, yeah, if what, he's another what movie. else do I need to get from Loki? What else do I need from him? Maybe it's not about season. Loki, essentially. Maybe it's more about like, hey, this whole timeline Sylvie. and it's extra timelines, extra timelines that they got to prune. Right. You know what I mean? I guess. Right. I don't know. I don't know. You got, let's say, let's say, for example, Toby and Andrew, Spider-Man, whatever. You still have an infinite number of, of timelines that need to be fixed because then a war. That's what. Start. That's what scares me about the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe mm -hmm. is is those infinite timelines. Does anything really matter if you can pull another character in from that, something else? Like, it's the same That's thing the with point. the scrolls. Is anybody really is that person might be a scroll if they really die? It's the same thing. It's like there's True. no stakes anymore if there's multi, if there's multiple timelines. Yes, but you also have to remember that there are plenty of other stories too that are that are out there that are totally. waiting to be told. That uh, yeah, I'm just totally. like so yeah, many yeah. people are like, hey, when are we gonna get this story? And I feel like this is kind of their door to say, hey, now we can make a blah 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 as a captain america or blah blah, blah as a spider-man sure. or captain marvel from another character because there's multiverse and i feel like they're just opening the door so that they can tell these stories and that people can finally like yes thank you now we can have that without it breaking the marvel canon you know what right. i mean i think i think that's probably what they're trying to do i'm just I scared have, I, I i have a feeling that um we're gonna see kang in multiverse of madness like i just have a strong feeling right? that he's gonna be in yeah. that movie now like after watching this i'm going well, you know what? It it would only make sense for him to either be a cameo in that, and then you know, mm -hmm. Doctor Strange really trying to like figure yeah. out who is Kang because he doesn't know. Loki mm -hmm. knows, and Loki's probably not gonna find a way to talk to Doctor Strange. So it's mm -hmm. like Doctor Strange. We're gonna see him investigate who is this person. Maybe he's yeah. the one that really gives us all the details on what's going on. How many yeah. Kangs are there? Mm -hmm. Are there billions of True. Kangs? Are there hundreds <laughs> yeah. of thousands of Kangs? Yeah. Like. The dude basically knew the setup was kill me and immediately I will be ruling everything. Yeah, you know, I, reincarnation. I mean, genius, yeah. genius, genius level so, evil read. Mm -hmm. You know, like that moment in the show when uh, Kang, well, I don't know. I don't know. His name's not Kang in this, I guess. It's just, just yeah, we just say Kang. Jonathan Major's Super character. Jonathan Kang, Major's yeah. Kang. yeah. He so conquer. he's like sitting at his desk and then mm -hmm. you hear that like shaking, like a. Yeah, like yeah. a little shaking like and that's when it yeah. breaks mm -hmm. you know i guarantee we have that same exact moment in doctor strange multiverse of madness yeah. like at the beginning or something like that moment happens and you it. know you know exactly you're like, you're like oh shoot sure. baby i know what's mm -hmm. going on here that'd be right. sick I like that and that's the crazy uh, thing that we're unsure because you have wanda's story but after Multiverse of Madness, you're thinking Kang. So now it's like, what is this movie going to be? What is the future of the Marvel Universe? Because there seems like there's so much there. And I don't know how they're going to fit all this in two hour movies and, and just a couple right. movies. You know what I mean? It just doesn't, it seems like a lot. So I don't know. I don't know. It's a lot. My bet, my bet is probably uh, Doctor Strange goes and finds Wanda because he knows that she's the other sorcerer and the kind of the Avengers. Mm -hmm. And then maybe they have to go and figure out what's going on. I feel like that's what the movie's going to probably be like. Mm -hmm. And then eventually, maybe at the end, they meet Kang. You know? Yeah. yeah. I changed my opinion because Doctor Strange is supposed to be in in uh, Spider Man, right? So yes, yes. So I don't know. He'd already have a thing going there before his mm -hmm. own movie, but I don't know. Who knows? I, regardless. I think this was a pretty good finale of the show. I know we're talking oh, a lot yeah. about Feature Marvel, but I thought this was yeah. a great finale. I, I really liked... I mean, okay, I'm trying to think of this from a perspective of someone who's not into theorizing and did not know Jonathan Majors was casted, okay. like how they felt mm -hmm. having this like, brand new character be in the final episode mm -hmm. and like not really, maybe not totally understanding how this is going to go. I mean, obviously we don't right, know where right. it's going to go either, but like me, I'm hyped because I love Jonathan Majors mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, did this book end a good season for you guys? Like like let's not think about how this sets up the future okay. like let's yeah. think let's talk like loki as a six episode show how how did you feel about that well personally i think you know i always want if they're if they're setting up a who is behind the curtain they give me someone like a great actor jonathan majors regardless right. of who he is there's still mystery to who he is let's i don't know who kang is I, there's still mystery he's like who's this guy why did they kill there's still open-endedness for yeah season two but i was satisfied that it's like you're trying to discover who it is what happening and the arc was completed loki i mean even loki too just still feels like his arc is not done yet because it feels like there's still more there and it just right. seems like there's a lot a lot of setup so yeah yeah yes sure. it's closed off but there's a lot more setup than there are closings you know and, and, and i feel like it's all setting up that, that second season that they're talking about already mm -hmm. like you're gonna find out what happened to the judge morbius you're gonna find out what happened to sylvie and loki and probably kang 
And he's probably just going to be exploring this TVA that is now run yeah. by Kang. Mm -hmm. And Kang isn't no longer a timekeeper or something behind a wall. It's now just him saying, this is who I am. I'm the guy in charge. That's the little yeah. differentiation that I think we're seeing here. Mm -hmm. Personally, dude, I, I, I love this episode. Like, I at first I was like, I like the reveal, the slow reveal of him. Like, you got to work your way to him. And then the elevator drops. But what I loved more than anything about the character was just how mad he was. He gave you this vibe of he's just a psychopath who's just yeah. gone so crazy because he spent so much time alone mm -hmm. and, and, and worried about the time. And he doesn't know what's going to happen at a certain point. So he's just been waiting and waiting and waiting to this moment. And then when he finally is there, he wants to play a game with these two people mm -hmm. that he's brought to his throne. Yeah. And it's just an interesting dynamic that is created there mm -hmm. as a finale. I agree. The show didn't start as strong as other shows or movies we've seen. But for a finale, I think when they deliver a brand new character and it's someone that is as big as Kang the Conqueror, although they never said Kang, we know it and we get excited as fans. That is something very exciting. Right. The future of the MCU seems bright. It seems like it's going to be very excellent. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm just I'm just excited to be, you know, going along for the ride because this, <laughs> yeah. this was a good reveal. This was a great reveal. Absolutely. And can we give a round of applause for Tom Hiddleston and his acting? I think he was oh, yeah, phenomenal in yeah. this whole show. And I think he's that, real good. I'm, I'm, I mean, I think we're all glad that he finally got a, a moment to shine and delve deep into who he is as a person and all this. And I think this show was a great backdrop of time and mischievousness and chaos for him as a as a character, as well as Jonathan Majors. Like like you were saying, acting was phenomenal, and I think he did a great job. And it was kind of unsure because if you're being casted as a big bad, like Josh Brolin as Thanos, you already know performance was insane, even though he was CG. You got to bring something to the table. You got to bring something yeah. to the table, yeah. And this John the Majors, I'm glad there was nothing on him. It was just him as a person in costume acting. Right. And yes, like he's mad, but he's different and good. We don't have a classic, I want to rule the world. It's like there's right. a calculation to it. And it's like, oh. Yeah, something different. Thank you. So I, I did. Yeah. I did like that a lot. I felt like there was a lot more like strategy with the mm -hmm. way they presented that character. Because at the end of it, I was like, was he really the evil version, or was the evil version coming because you killed this last version that was kind of good, like we were saying during mm -hmm. the show? Because he really is just there, letting you know, like I'm preserving this because as soon as I go, uh, the millions of versions of me that want to rule, I don't want to rule. Yeah. The millions of versions, the they billions do. of versions that want to rule are going to come. Mm -hmm. I don't right. want to rule, don't kill me, but Sylvie's pain, the fact that she was yes. taken from her timeline, motivates her to want to kill him, even though she knows that that's gonna happen. And that's the mm. struggle for her yeah. character Great. that we're gonna see in season two. It's very interesting stuff. I think the show dwelled into a lot deeper uh, like story elements mm -hmm. than I thought it was gonna. And I think they did in a great job towards the end. You Absolutely. Know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, and I'm going to agree. Overall, if we're looking at Loki as a whole, I think it ended so much stronger than it started. And so yeah. I left, I leave a lot more excited after this than I did after the end of like right. Falcon and Winter right. Soldier. Right. And I, I'm, I leave a lot more fulfilled through right, this, yeah. I think. That's good. Because there's so much hope for like what's to come. Like, well, what do we got next? So that's definitely a positive going for this one for sure. Awesome. Okay. Well, any, yeah. any closing thoughts to end the series off and anything you want to say, I guess, for the future Marvel, as well as to everybody watching? Anything else? I mean, <laughs> I am sure I'm going to have so many thoughts tomorrow about this, too. Yeah. Like, tonight, I feel like I'm in the heat of the moment. I'm like, oh, my God, like, I don't even know right. what's, what to think yet. Um, so, again, I'm sure if you're watching this later on, you have a million things that you might think is in the future. Please comment those because, like, I want to read them tomorrow. You know what I mean? I would right. love to read these and, like, yeah. talk about them with you guys. Um, and even if you want to talk more about them, too, you can hop on our Discord and we'll chat it up, dude. I'm in. I'm ready to go, bro. Mm -hmm. How about you guys? Personally, I want to say that that opening to this episode was magnificent. Like, Marvel, you guys outdid yourself by bringing all these little voices, these little cameos. Oh, that was All so these different sick. moments in Marvel history. I thought that that was amazing. Something that, that I didn't expect going into this episode. And it, it just resonated in a different way, honestly. And then the fact that Kang called the Avengers self-righteous. I thought that that was yes. such a nice touch where he's aware of all of these people and mm -hmm. what they might do. So it makes you know that he's aware of Doctor Strange and Wanda probably yeah. teaming up on him. And he's already thinking three, <laughs> four steps ahead. And I'm just, I'm curious to know, cause I feel like in the, in the quantum verse, Ant-Man and the Wasp might be, actually be able to take him on because time has slowed down so much that they might actually be able to fight Kang. True. He might not be able to manipulate time that well. Good point. Interesting. 
Good yeah. point. Well, I'd like to say as a Marvel fan, I think it never ceases to amaze me how they can get your excitement and 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 turn it on its head with with different yeah. themes, different stories, and still get you excited for a future, even though we're already what twelve years into this. And they're like, hey, right? Like, like you say with the voices in the middle, it's like here's all the timeline. You guys know the movies, and at, and the moment when he was like, we just hit the point you know it clicked with him it's gonna be so different now which i'm it, so ready for let me tell you guys before i forget mm -hmm. when i was talking about the stakes earlier i was really worried about the yeah. stakes of marvel i'll yeah. tell you the one stake that is okay. going to stay consistent okay is the one stake is that you do not want the timeline that has been created already with all oh, these yeah. characters that you love to be broken <laughs> yeah yeah that's that's well, the state no i'm serious I'm, I'm serious that's like all the characters all right yeah not only the fans but the characters in the show that's their stakes is that their lives for what yeah. we've seen their that's lives cool. so we can align with those stakes mm -hmm. easily because we've for, seen yeah. them mm -hmm. right yeah and that's what i think they're yep. going to continue like it's it's something totally. new now you know which is like yep. oh my god thank god but close us out right baby up ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching uh we have had such an incredible time reacting again comment anything in your thoughts any easter eggs you guys caught as well as what you're looking forward to what movie you're looking forward to to see we want to know uh we love marvel hill here <laughs> we love marvel here no, hold up yeah what's up before we go everybody's what's watching this uh -huh. right now if you can just i want to give a shout out to Ryder. Ryder stays up right after each episode, oh okay? And I swear, no, no, I'm serious. He edits for hours and this goes up like late into the night and he stays up right. long hours doing this. So if you guys, please thank Ryder in the comments for me. He's done oh, it for all three shows now. Okay. It's been a Thanks. lot of episodes. So thank you. Thank you, Ryder, for thank real. You thank you guys. Absolutely. Shout out Ryder. I wanna thank you guys again. Uh, we appreciate you all. And we'll see you very soon for another video here on Strictly Casual. Have a great one. Bye-bye everybody. <laughs> see you later.